Hello, it's Lucas from Mercedes-Benz of Eastbourne. Today we have a wonderful GLC 300 coupe to have a look around. Now, as you can see, this is the AMG line, as we have the lovely chrome pins in the front grille, which really help it stand out on the road. We have the LED high performance headlamps with high beam assist just there, and the more aggressive front bumper styling, as you'd find on the AMG line. Now, this is the uh, Premium Plus, and as you can see, it's finished in obsidian black metallic as well. Um, but as part of the Premium Plus package, we have these lovely 20-inch AMG 5 twin-spoke alloys, as you can see just here. And I think the silver really, and the chrome really offsets against the black very nicely indeed. Now, just coming around to the boots, uh, as I'm sure you'll be aware, there is plenty of room in here. So actually, we have 500 litres worth of space and 1,400 if we were to put the actual uh, seats down as well. So plenty of room and lovely to have a power tail again back here as well. We have keyless entry, so we put our hand in the handle to unlock it and brush it against the back to lock it. But as you can see as well in the middle, we have three zone climate controls. So one for each of the front passengers and one at the rear. Uh, full black leather upholstery though, uh, with ice fix points on both the outer two seats, uh, meaning it's uh, very, very convenient for everyone wanting to be in the car. Now having a quick look at the cockpit, as you can see, it really is a lovely place to be. We have the digital instrument cluster, which I'll cover in more detail later on, um, and these lovely uh, more bolstered front seats as well. Now what I'm going to do is open up the bonnet so we can have a quick look at the engine. So now that I've opened up the bonnet under here, you can see the wonderful two litre four cylinder engine. Uh, it produces 258 brake horsepower and 370 newton meters of torque. It'll get you to 60 in just 6.3 seconds and will top out 149 miles per hour. It'll also get up to 33 miles a gallon, so lovely and efficient too. So having jumped into the front, we can see first of all the wonderful digital instrument cluster, but the main start of the show is the MBUX system operated through the main screen just here. As you can see, we can connect up up to two phones simultaneously to both make and receive calls, which is hugely convenient. Our navigation here is wonderfully quick, uh, updates itself uh, every six months for the first three years, and you just prod where to to put in a postcode as well. Then in radio, we have full FM DAB. Uh, options in here. There are loads and loads, as you can see, to choose from uh, in here. And in media, we can connect up our phones and play any music from Spotify, Apple Music, anything like that in there. We also have ambient lighting with 64 different colours, as well as multi-colour options. So as you can see, we can go into ocean blue or red moon, something like that over here. Um, really enhancing the space and luxury feel of the car. Then just coming down slightly, you can see the wonderful trim in the middle just here. Um, and we have our climate control cluster just along here, as well as the quick selects to get around uh, just below that. We have a laptop style touchpad uh, to operate the main screen, as well as our dynamic select for our sporty or more economical modes. We can accept and decline calls on the steering wheel, as you can see just here. And on the right hand side, we can adjust all of our cruise control speed limiter uh, options as well. Uh, if you're not familiar to Mercedes, most of our cars have their um, drive select on the steering column just here and as you can see the 360 camera just here really setting it apart and making parking that much easier. We have full electric uh, front seats with memory functions as well so you can save them into one of those three settings just here and heated seats for both the front drivers as well. And the bit that everyone notices first of all is this wonderful sliding sunroof um, so it'll open up over the front two passengers providing loads of extra light and air for everyone inside. Now, as you can see, we can adjust the actual screen itself. We can have um, things like G-Force meter in there, as you can see just there. But a personal favourite is the actual sat-nav, as you can see just here. Thank you so much for watching. As usual, it's been Lucas. Um, this has been a GLC 300 Coupe AMG Line Premium Plus. And please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.